Okay, we want to divide and write this in standard form. So if you have a problem like that that has an I in the bottom, we need to come up with a way to get rid of the I from the bottom because ultimately our final answer cannot have any I's at the bottom of the fraction. So I need to do a process for each of these. So the process to get rid of that I is going to be to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. We're multiplying by the opposite sign of what you see in the bottom. It doesn't matter what the top one is, just the bottom one only. So for this, when, by multiplying, what will happen is you're going to get the I to cancel out and you'll be able to get a, a whole number on the bottom and that's why we want to do this process. So to, to do this, we're going to multiply across the top, we'll multiply across the bottom. 4 times 3, 12. 4 times negative I, negative 4I. And then we have the middle ones, that's going to be negative 6i. Negative 2 and negative i is going to be plus 2i squared. Now on the bottom we have 3 times 3 is 9. Then I have negative 3i. Then I get the middle terms plus 3i. And then I get the end terms will be minus i squared. Now, this is the reason why you want to multiply by a conjugate. What we notice here is these are going to cancel out. Negative 3 and 3 will be gone. And then I have a negative 1 I'm going to put in there for i squared. So once I do that, I'll just get a regular number in the bottom with no more i. So that's why you want to always want to multiply by the, the conjugate of the bottom. So on top, what I'll do is I'm going to put in the uh, negative 1 for i squared. So I have 2 and I put negative 1 into the top one. I'm also going to put in a negative 1 in the, the bottom one as well. So negative 1 goes in both places. You want to always do that. Whenever you have i squared, always put in negative 1 for that. Now we're going to simplify what's left. So I get 12. This will be minus 10i. And then I get minus 2 is what that simplifies to. On the bottom, I get 10. So when I simplify this, I get 10 minus 10i all over 10. Now this is not the correct standard form because we have the whole thing is written as a fraction. In order for it to be in true standard form, you have to have an a and a b have to be separated. So I need to take this and I need to separate it by dividing each one individually by 10. So by doing that, now I get two separate things. Now, Sometimes you will be able to reduce the fractions, sometimes you can't. It just depends on the problem. In this case, we are able to, so if you are able to reduce those fractions, you do want to go ahead and do so. You're going to get 1 minus i. So 1 minus i would be the most simplified answer, so this would be the result if you take these two and divide them. And so now we're going to do the same thing for part b. Now before you do the same process that we did up here, what you want to do is first change these into i's and get rid of the square roots. So square root of 4, that's going to be 2. Square root of 49 is 7, and because there's a negative underneath the square root, that means it's going to turn into a 7i. On the bottom, that's 5, that's going to be minus 3i. So now that we have all the square roots are gone, we're ready to do the same process we had above. So you want to multiply top and bottom by the opposite sign of what you have in the bottom here. So it's a minus, you want to do plus. So 5 plus 3i, you'll do that top and bottom. And again, you're going to multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. So across the top, you're going to get 10, and then we get plus 6i. We get plus 35i, and then we get plus 21i squared. On the bottom, you're going to get 5 times 5 is 25. Now you're going to get plus 15 and minus 15. That's going to give you a 0. And then you get negative 3i and positive 3i. That gives you minus 9i squared. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify further. We have uh, here uh, 10 and then plus 41i. And then 21 we're going to multi replace the, uh, the i squared with negative 1. We're going to do that on the top and on the bottom. So I get this. Now that we have this, you want to simplify this one uh, further. So you, for this, you get 10, and this is going to be minus 21. And so for that, that's going to give you negative 11. And then we have plus 41i. Now on the bottom, 
you're going to get 34. Once again, this, that's not the proper standard form. You want to separate it like we did the one over here. You need to get two separate fractions for that. So you get negative 11 over 34 plus 4i over 34. Now these do not reduce, and that's fine if they don't reduce. We have this separate a term here, and here's the b term there that has the i connected to it. So this would be the final answer for part b, and again, here's our answer for part a.